Alright! What's up guys? It's Coco! それでは秋になってしまったのでとうとうやってまいりましょう Now that the summer is over and needing more warmth and it's slowly getting into cupping season for those who are lurking around being single I picked the perfect word for us today Today's word is going to be NAMPA NAMPA is a term when you're trying to holla The word NAMPA comes from a Japanese word Moderate. When a guy is nampa, that means they're a smooth talker or a seducer or either like a ladies man. Not quite player vibes. We have another word coming up for player, so, anyways, then you add the verb suru. Nampa suru refers to the action of picking up women. The definition is to pick people off the streets. In Japanese nightlife, you will most likely find Some Japanese, younger to older, every age is around. People try to nampa all the time. You will see people trying so hard to get the girl's attention or to attract girls. And I'm gonna add a clip here because I was doing some research about nampa. It's interesting to see these Japanese boys trying to omochikairi. Let me explain that to you later. But basically, in big cities like、uh, Tokyo, had、um, Kabukicho, which is Shinjuku, and Senta Gai in Shibuya, or Lopongi, or it's like kind of like Times Square of New York. There's a lot of streets that you could easily stand there and wait for people to holla at you. I guess the point is that is like an ultimate link up spot. So, you know, people could take advantage of that. Advantage of that as well. So, what this guy on YouTube was doing, he set a time limit and had his friend film him and you know, just talk to girls back to back and basically, nampa. He's like the professional nampa. She means like the professional nampa ma- master, which is totally okay. That is like his channel, so like it's funny. On the other hand, like if I was that girl not knowing I was getting filmed. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. But you know, some people think it's a joke. You don't want to make other people uncomfortable. That's just that. This is just like the part I really want to include with like teaching this term too, because I just don't want to overuse it. It's like cat call with pick up. Be mindful and respectful. Let's move on. So, all these t y p e of flirtation in Japanese slang is known as Nampa Suru. Nampa Suru. Nampa Suru. And Gyaku Nang Suru. Gyaku Nang Suru. Gyaku means reverse or opposite. Gyaku Nang Suru refers to when women are picking up men off street. We're getting it done, getting it done. So that's when you're in action. But what if you're getting the action, right? We have to know, we have to know it. When you're getting hit on, you will say, Nampa sareru or gyakunan sareru. And sareru, it's kind of like similar to suru, right? It's just the past sentence of. Suru. So if you ever approach strangers trying to establish some romantic relationships, You're basically done Nampa before. So, you know, congratulations. Being introduced isn't Nampa. When you're getting introduced from somebody, it's Shokai. Introduced, introducing each other. Shokai suru? Shokai sareru. Nampa sareru toki, kekko, nanka iwareru yone. Nanka shinai toka. When you're Getting hit on like Nampa. They basically use some pickup lines like, o n e s a n karaoke ikanai? Toka, ah, c h u t o n i s a n like, so kono n i s a n ah, nomi ikanai? Toka, something like that. Nanka, nomi karaoke bowling ka love ho? But that's、uh, Japanese has this like love ho. Well, that's a whole nother story. So, if you want to learn more about love ho, just let me know and I'll try to explain it. That's it. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you can. Much appreciate you as always. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace. Ah. Say hi <laughs> to the camera. If you're new, my name is Coco. I teach Japanese slangs that Japanese textbook doesn't include. I also take requests. So if you guys have any requests, definitely let me know down below. I also start making TikTok. It's much easier than this, actually. It's less than five minutes. It's 15 seconds of quick Japanese lessons. If you're on TikTok, if you're a TikToker, follow me. Let me know if you like my feed. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. Okay?